एवरीवन वेलकम बैक लेट्स गो अहेड विद द पोस्ट मेथड नाउ इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी सा द गेट मेथड दैट हाउ वी हिट एन ए पी आई यूजिंग अ गेट मेथड नाउ सेम थिंग वी विल बी ट्राइंग यूजिंग अ पोस्ट मेथड द ओनली डिफरेंस इज लाइक गेट मेथड इज जस्ट फॉर फैचिंग सम इंफॉर्मेशन राइट बट इफ वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ न्यू रिसोर्स और वी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ न्यू रेकर्ड राइट सपोज इफ यू गो ऑन अ any site you need to sign up right for sign up you need to provide some data in the using a body right that is like uh, that's how we send the data we say we see it as body so whatever data we are entering like username password email id everything right that is called uh, those are details we are sending inside a body but in at the back end right so same thing we will be doing here okay uh, let's try the same using the json placeholder api okay and go to google and search json placeholder and the first link you will get is json placeholder type code.com okay if you scroll down you will find some routes over here inside these routes uh, like these are all the methods get post put patch delete and if you see there is one note telling us the uh, giving us the guide for uses examples if you click here and search for post method right so yeah this is creating a new resource using a post method so we will be trying the same thing over here so do one thing uh, go to google and download postman once you will download postman you will find like a screen like this click on new and select the request type as http request okay so if you see, see here the method type is post so we will select the method type as post and we will we will enter the url so this is the url we are going to enter okay there are many other things such as params params are you know you want to filter your search right or you want to go to some unique id like inside post if i want to go to one right so i can also add this thing using params and authorization is like you want to send your user id and password wherever it is necessary that is for authorization headers headers are like sending some extra information you, with the url if you see here here we are sending the content type as application json okay so i will be adding one header over here content type it will come automatically it will give me the suggestion right that is application json this is my value key and value okay now i need to send body as well okay so a uh, body if you see it's in the format of json so i will select raw and then type json from here if it's not already selected and i will be sending this body this thing right print side curly braces enter then control v oh this is throwing errors because strings are to be sent in double quotes here this comma is not required okay okay these are also to be sent in double quotes if i am not doing so but my server will throw me an error if i am i will send the request this way this is for sending the request see it's throwing 500 internal server error what is that error is like unexpected token in position 16 over here this is it right so i will be sending it under double quotes same thing for bar right now no error is displayed and i will just resend it you see the response is 201 201 is when we are creating some new record on the server and this is my response body okay now what i will do is i will be sending the same thing doing the same thing through request library right so url post is equals to same thing same url same body i need right body post is equals to let me copy the body and then i need my header header post or any name you can give right so 
content type application JSON. Let me pick this from the site itself. Else I will have to make some changes, right? Content type. Send this also in form of a dictionary key value pair. Okay, everything is done. See, we got four things here from here, right? First is the method type, then body, the URL, and the last thing is header. So we have all those four things. Now we will be hitting the API response to request dot method is put right so we have three things to send url is equal to url post then uh, we know that header headers is equals to header post then we know body is in the form of a json so we will be sending the body and that's it right and the status code right we will be first of all fetching the status code from our response object and then comparing it for comparing we use assertion status is equal to equal to 201 as a new object is created and then what I will be doing is whatever response I am getting I will put it in a JSON object okay response dot JSON is the method right which we did the same thing in our previous lecture also so now I can fetch anything from this JSON response like this is the response I will be getting suppose I want this ID from this response right so same thing if you need anything from a dictionary object you need to send that inside square brackets like this is the thing I need right so let me hit it it's throwing some error like assert status is equals to equals to 201 means our status code is not coming as expected so there might be some issue uh, let's have a look into that so okay let us debug it trace back most recent call last file d python request python line 13 okay so it's saying that assertion error is coming status code is not matching okay let's put a debug point and uh, try to debug it instead of run start debugging okay for that python debugger debug python file let's see it's running okay it stopped over here okay now I am going to hit it over okay what is the response I am getting is 404 404 I think server not found right that's 404 let me check what went wrong over here you see the JRL URL URL is URL post the same URL we used here so URL is fine then body uh, content type should also be fine there isn't any error I can see with the content type body is also same thing we are sending right the issue let me see okay I think the mistake we are doing is instead of put I think this is post method right so that's why we are getting this error right so else everything else is okay so let's do one thing let's save it and try to rerun it yeah now it's working fine so if you see over here right what we are doing is same URL same body we are sending here and using the header through this post method once that is done okay we got our status code then we are verifying the status code if it's 201 yes it's 201 then what we are doing is we are trying to fetch we fetched our body in the form of json and here we are fetching the id from the same body 101 is the id okay 
I think that's it. We did the same thing manually as well as via Postman, Postman via and automation and a request library. So we should be good. Yeah. See you next lecture. Thank you.